welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be in preparation for Black Friday, which is next week. Deals start to come in from around about now, I would say. Honestly, the best deals that you can get, especially for Christmas gifts, is around the Black Friday sales to Cyber Monday sales. So Black Friday is officially, I think it's the 29th of November, and it's like a American tradition after Thanksgiving it's the day after people go out shopping literally at like midnight they queue up doors open people go wild it's slowly creeping back here in in the UK but I feel like the best deals you can find are online and one of the best that I find for fashion oh it's pretty little thing they do monstrous deals for Black Friday so I picked out some of my favorite items they are kindly sponsoring this video which is just mind-blowing to me. I can't believe that I'm working with Pretty Little Thing on this video. So they have very kind of gifted me these items to share with you guys and essentially prep you for the Black Friday sales. So keep alert, I don't even know the official sales yet, it's that under wraps. So I will list all the information and links to these items down below should you wish to purchase them yourself. Be sure to use the discount codes available. Without further ado, Make sure you're ready, sit back, relax for this video. Let's get started on my pretty humongous, pretty little thing, Black Friday haul. <laughs> Got there eventually. But the first item before I get started with the clothing is shoes. I think these are boots, are they? Yeah. I've been after some ankle nude boots, which I don't really have other than stiletto heels. So I was after some more wearable heel height and I feel like this is a nice chunky heel, but quite understated because it is perspex. So I opted for these in a UK seven. So I did size up. Let me just try them on for size reference for you now quickly. Yeah, size up. I always do this on Pretty Little Thing. I'm like in between sizes though. I am like a six and a half, but you know not everyone does half sizes, so <laughs> I opted for a seven and they fit perfectly. Oh, I like them. Cute. So let's go in with the biggest item I can see, which is a very fluffy, cozy looking item. Oh my god, this is so soft. Okay, so I sized up in this one, yes, to a 12, and it is the coziest, most gorgeous beige coat. This is like a proper teddy colour, do you not think? The beige tone of it, oh, I love this. Okay, so I know this is, for you guys, one of the first, no, I think it is the first item you're seeing, but obviously for me, I've tried everything on now, I'm doing all the trial clips after filming the entire video, so I know what's coming up, you guys don't yet, but this is my favourite thing from the haul. So incredibly soft, I am so happy I picked this out because, oh my god, this is literally the softest coat I own. Oh, I love it! It's actually not that thick, so it's definitely one that I would start wearing now. I sized up to a 12, so there's plenty of room within the sleeves and everything for me to layer up with jumpers, it, like underneath, and hoodies if I want to. Okay, next up, I actually got a set. So I got a pair of trousers with a blazer in this rich, creamy kind of colour. It's a nice tailored smart looking blazer and it did come with the matching trousers which are cropped slightly. Are they cropped? No they're not cropped. Ignore me there. I, yeah they're called cream cropped trousers but they don't look cropped for me. I'm five foot uh, six for reference in the try on bits when you can see me actually try these on and I'm also typically a size 10 so I did get a size 10 in that and I did get a size 10 in the blazer too. Okay this pantsuit I love the color it is a gorgeous like I said really rich creamy kind of color which I think is more flattering than a stark white just saying I just think it's the same when it comes to jeans as well I find my more flattering jeans are the ones that are an off-white I think it makes it look more expensive as well the blazer is nice it's not how I imagined it would be though it's designed to be worn done up which I wasn't expecting so you can see there's this little clasp here 
to, to keep it done up pretty much the whole time. So, I mean, it, it's nice, but it's just not what I was expecting. Uh, I guess you could easily take that clip off if you didn't want it on, because I do love the button panelling here on either side. I love the fact that it's a little bit tapered, makes it look a little bit smarter. Um, the trousers are a little on the bigger side, so if you're in between sizes, I would size down. They're a good length, a nice length to sort of cut across your ankles, nice burly bare heels. And then I've got this blazer, which is called the White Faux Leather Oversized Dad Blazer. I did get this in a small because it is already oversized, it said. So it is, as you can tell, a nice, rich, creamy kind of colour again. And I don't have anything like this. It's kind of like a shacket, I suppose, because it's warm enough, because it's the faux leather material, it's warm enough to be worn like outside as an outerwear with maybe a jumper underneath or layered with a hoodie or just a t-shirt if it's if it's a bit warmer so i like the look of this and it's not like nothing i already have if you saw my vlog recently about my capsule wardrobe i'll leave it linked if you were interested i had a bit of a wardrobe rehaul rethink clear out and then i just want to stick to things that i know are going to be wearable for a lot of other people. I really like this faux leather jacket. I feel as an alternative, I'm just going to lower you a little bit, as an alternative to the blazer to these matching bottoms, this could be quite nice if you're wanting more of an oversized blazer. Uh, however, I probably typically would wear this with jeans. I feel like the faux leather, I don't know if I'd want too much more leather, so maybe not leather pants, but yeah, jeans I think would be a nice um, like just a staple vintage blue wash, no vintage wash blue denim uh, with these would look really nice. Maybe a basic tee and if it's a bit colder I'd throw a hoodie on as well. But it's very oversized so stay true to size with this one and you will be fine. Okay, I was also after more bodysuits in that video so I picked up this one. This is the Stone Racerback Thong Bodysuit in a 10. Nice and plain and simple. I'd say it's more cheeky than thong, to be honest with you. This, for me, this bodysuit is like a typical everyday bodysuit. I love the high neck, but it's not too suffocating. Love the colour, nice and neutral. I was after a new good nude one anyway, so this is a thumbs up from me. I also picked up this bodysuit again in a 10. This is called the Ecru Second Skin Square Neck Sleeveless Thong Bodysuit. So if you've ever tried the Second Skin range, it's like a double lined material that is really, really kind of soft but slinky. So this is a thong bodysuit. How beautiful is a square neckline? I really, really like it. I think it's quite classy and sophisticated if I do say so myself. This ecru coloured, creamy kind of coloured bodysuit is beautiful. I love the colour of it. I would pair this joggers, nice and simple and casual, or jeans and a heels to dress it up a bit and then maybe throw a blazer on over the shoulders. Okay, I'm actually so excited to try these. I have been living in leather trousers and leather leggings already this season. So to switch it up a little bit, I have opted for a chocolate brown pair. I'm hoping I'm going to love these because it adds a nice sort of alternative to a black. I did pick up these in a size 10 for reference when trying on so you know what they look like. If these fit, these are going to be a winner. They're not the perfect fit so I'm again going to exchange these for an 8 just because they're a little bit big on the waist and a little bit on the legs. So I just feel like um, I have lost a little bit of weight so in my mind I'm still like I'm a 10 or a 10 but I do think I'm that hybrid like in between the two. If 9 was a size I'd be a 9. That's typically what I am. Having said that, it is the Christmas period, so I'm about to go up a size probably with the amount of food that I'm going to be eating. I also opted for a black pair just to try them out. I like the seam down the front there. It's like quite a flattering seam. In a size 10, good old staple black to add to my black collection. I literally do live in black leather 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 leggings and leather pants throughout winter and our winter is pretty prolonged in the UK so no more justifying needed. Okay these leather leggings unfortunately these are a full size too big for me. They're too big on the like waist but they're also there's plenty of space within the leg area as well so I am going to exchange these for an eight. I feel like once on um 
and in your right size. These are going to be amazing. There's plenty of give and stretch to them. They're so comfy. They're like, you know, you could squat in these. <laughs> these are going to be a good staple legging that you can go out, have a nice big meal and not feel too restrained in just because of how stretchy the, like, the actual material is. So I love that, I love the panelling down the leg, but do size down. When going through my sort of capsule wardrobe, one thing that I noticed that I was missing is a good like white shirt, just very simple. I was thinking a real basic one, but actually this is quite a nice one. Size 10, let's try it on. So this is the plain and simple crisp white shirt that I've been after for a while. I probably uh, tuck this into um, like jeans, high waisted jeans and maybe even like just do a half tuck or uh, open completely and this is the length of it and I would wear that with leg leather leggings, I forget my words right, well, well, well. <laughs> I just sneaked in one extra pair of leather pants, now these I had last year in white, no was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember and I trashed them I think the color of it was probably the reason but I have now got the black pair I don't know if they're exactly the same they look pretty much the same and feel the same but these are far more heavy duty than the other two leather leggings that I picked up in the black and brown these are leather trousers these are for the really cold days so it has a nice zip hardware detailing and also piping you can see there the like stitching contrast so, pick these up in a tan, let's try them on. Okay, these leather pants are so thick and like expensive feeling that I actually feel like you need to size up if you're in between sizes in these. I mean, these are a 10 and you know, I get them on and they're fine on the waist and everything, there's a bit of room. So, they're okay, but I do feel like these are gonna be more of a casual go for drinks, you know, stood up, mingling, rather than a sit down three course meal because I feel like I might be a bit too restricted in them. I got this bodysuit as a dupe to a couple of more expensive ones that I have seen online. And this is a little more dressy. I feel like this would be nice with some leather pants and some heels or even heeled boots either barely their heels or heeled boots for like drinks with your friend. It does come in other colours. I went for the nude and I got it in a size 10. It's part of the shape range as well which I'm always a fan of the shape range. I feel like they really cinch you in. Hourglass your figure. No, silhouette your figure really nicely and it is a thong as well which is a bonus and it has poppers which is another bonus big big fan of this bodysuit i love this mesh layer i am seeing it everywhere at the minute i'm a big big fan of it so this one is a really reasonably priced one love the thin spaghetti straps i feel like they're a very classic look um and it doesn't have the ruching on the back it's just plain and simple it's that same mesh fabric though it just doesn't have like the excess which i like i would rather it just be on the front anyway and um yeah i just think it's a nice bodysuit that can be dressed up for an evening so i would highly recommend this one this is another bodysuit in black this one is ribbed and it's a high roll neck so adds another dimension to my ever-growing bodysuit collection like so a nice high neck and it is a thong body as well this i picked up in a 10 so i bloody love this neckline i just think the roll neck or turtleneck is quite a like chic look it's one that i'm looking at investing a little more into i feel like as part of a capsule wardrobe it's nice to have a piece like this in winter with a blazer um and especially in the autumn transitional period when it is a bit warmer than it gets in typical real cold winter winter uh, to have the no sleeves but a blazer is a nice option as opposed to having a high neck or roll neck with long sleeves then it can get a bit too ooh, hot Whenever a bodysuit is ribbed, I really like that because I feel like it makes it feel a little bit more expensive and premium. So this is a, it's a good one for me. It's a good staple to add to my wardrobe. And then last but not least, again, just to switch it up a little bit and add a, an additional bodysuit to my bodysuit collection, but this time in a rich chocolatey brown. This is actually far darker than I thought it would be. Can you even see that it's brown or does it look black on camera? 
but it is actually a chocolate brown but a real dark rich deep chocolate brown again a thong body in a size 10 that is very dark isn't it i've never seen a brown that dark before it's, it's verging on black to be honest with you okay this is the chocolate bodysuit same as the nude one which i had and it is a very dark chocolate you might be able to see on camera the difference between black and chocolate i don't know if you can see that yeah i think you can um so i quite like that i like the fact that it's verging on black but it isn't it is chocolate brown and again it just adds that element of difference to my bodysuit collection it's also i feel like chocolate is a little less harsh than brown and i feel like chocolate brown no it's a little less harsh than black and I feel like chocolate brown works well with blondes so I have a really nice chocolate brown trench coat that I love as well and like with the brown leather leggings it just it's something different you know less harsh same with makeup I always find like a brown smoky eye is less harsh than a black smoky eye on someone with maybe fairer skin fairer hair so yeah thumbs up from me okay so this is my favorite bodysuit which i didn't actually unbox in the main section of this video duh i left it in the bag when i emptied out the bag just to check everything that was done right at the end i noticed this and it's probably my favorite one i love the high neck i love the sleeve length again it's so different to anything that i have already it's, um, you know, because I've got like black loose fit t-shirts and I've got vest body suits, but not a t-shirt one and that's high neck. So this, I think I would typically wear either joggers day to day like so or with leather pants for an all black outfit look with a black blazer over my shoulders. Maybe black court shoe or black boots for a bit more casual. I feel like it's quite sophisticated to have that high neck and um it's very stretchy and breathable so i got it over my head easily enough without having you know when you've got makeup on and it's just a struggle this wasn't too bad so there you have it that is everything that i have picked up from pretty little thing these are my top picks and new additions to add to my capsule wardrobe and my kind of simple understated look to my wardrobe which is very monochromatic neutral not much pattern not much color but that's just the style that i love if you love that too then be sure to stick around and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video i'll also leave my instagram handle down below if you want to go follow me and see how i style up these items thank you once again to pretty little thing for kindly sponsoring this video and working with me to bring with you some of my top picks stay tuned for those good old black friday and cyber monday deals i cannot wait i am going to be having all the browsers open to make sure that i am set and ready for black friday i have some electrics that i want to shop some homeware bits as soon as all the discount codes are released i will be sure to update you over on my instagram stories and also there are some great accessories and stuff on there as well which could be perfect for gift ideas for christmas so links will be in the description box i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did stay tuned for more and i hope to see you all in my next one Bye guys.